Once you hear his tap tap tapping, you'll know he's found a new friend to play. For now, you only have five minutes before he takes you away. But do not fret, staying in place is the man's only peeve. But keep him at bay for another five minutes and he'll leave. He has no use for trinket or token. He'll first check where bread is broken. The man is doing what he does best. Next, he'll check under where you usually rest. The man is indeed very bold. Next, he'll check inside the place that is cold. The man will walk, then he'll lurch. Under the mirror is the next place he'll search. Okay, enough of that. But the book's not finished! There's one more place the man checks! Junior, you are too young to be reading this kind of stuff. It'll scare you half to death. But Mama, I saw him outside! I really did! It's just a book, sweetie. It ain't real. Huh? If that story is true, we only have five minutes to hide. Junior, J Junior, where's the last place the book said he'd look? A uh, man has no family, no son, and no daughter. Last, he will check the place which holds water. The bathtub, go hide there. But mama. No buts, just do it now. Okay, I only have five minutes until he's here. I need to do everything I can to slow him down. <gasps> There's gotta be something else I can do. <sighs> Come on. Come on. <sighs> Try getting through that, freak. Running out of time. I gotta find a hiding spot with Junior in the bathroom. Junior, you're hiding in the bathtub, right? The last place the story said he'd look. Junior? Junior, where are you? I'm down here, Mama. Junior, the story said the tub was the last place he'd look. You need to get in there now. But Mama, then where do you hide? You can't fit down here. Don't worry. I'm a good hider. You'll never find me. Junior! Be safe, Junior. Calm down. We've already scanned the entire neighborhood. Nobody's seen a tall, spindly gray man lurking around. Or your boy. I hate lying! The man broke in and took my junior! I couldn't stop him! Please! 
please do another search. I know he's still out there. Please. Ma'am, grief can make people think they see all sorts of crazy things. We're going to help you find your son, but we need to know what really happened to you. You're not listening to me. The man took him. The man. Ma'am. Stand down, officer. She's telling the truth. Oh my god. APD calling all officers. Reports of trespassing on the east side. The mother is claiming some creepy man is tapping on her window over- That's him! That's the man that kidnapped my junior! We only have a few minutes before he breaks in. Move, now! Come on, officer. Step on it. You have no idea what we're dealing with. Then tell me, what's going on? Who's the man from the window? Nobody knows for sure, but I know what he's capable of. Legends say that he wanders through the shadows without a trace. Completely undetectable. That he has beady eyes and a sunken nose, smiling ear to ear. I remember his first victims. A poor little frog family. The mother was taken. Mommy? The man is gone. You can stop hiding now. Mommy? The poor little girl didn't even understand what was happening. She thought it was an innocent game of hide and seek. It always starts with a book. The man leaves it inside homes for children to read. But who is he exactly? I don't think that matters. Maybe he was human at some point. He clearly has a fascination with nursery rhymes. So he could have been a teacher, or babysitter, or even a poet. But whatever curse happened to that man, it changed him forever. All I know is that until we catch him, everyone's in danger. I won't rest until he is rotten behind bars. We're here. They're in that apartment complex, top floor. It's past three. The man's inside already. Go, go. Down on the ground! Now! Detective? Mama! Buddy! I thought I'd lost you! Thank you, officer. Mama! Is he gone? He's gone now. Don't worry. And no more cursed books. Alright? Okay. But... Mama... Yes? What do we do about the woman from the door? 